Jamie here, keeping it coy. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome. Hope to earn your subscription today. So today is very hot. Um, I know obviously I'm a little bit behind again with uh, getting the material out to you guys, but that's because I don't want to flood the uh, internet. So much stuff has been happening. Um, I'm recording something pretty much every day, and I don't want to upload a new video every day because you'll get bored of me. And uh, don't think the laptop and uh, quite handle it either um, but yeah in today's video the fish are still not in the uh, pond uh, because it still hasn't been seven days uh, since their treatment that will be after the two growing shows and um, hopefully see you all down there but yeah in today's video I have cut and halfway through sanding the gopins so they're all cut and all laid all the way round. Let me spin you around, I'll give you a better look. So yeah, got this one all lovely and sanded. So that one's all nice and smooth. This one's all nice and smooth. Not gonna get a single splinter along there. Obviously when they're all screwed down and lined up properly, they'll all meet nicely. This one, I don't know if you can tell the difference. It's a bit bright today, but yeah, that one's not been sanded yet. And I've just finished doing this little corner one over here. You can probably tell that one's uh, been sanded to within an inch of an, its life. But I'm still yet to do that one, that one, and this big one, those three. So I've done those three, that one, that one. And that one, so I'm halfway there. I've then just got the two little ones there, and then the giant one along the back there. But yeah, looking good, looking good. But yeah, I got the big bad boy out today. I safe fanning about with uh, my little belt sander and whatnot. I got the, the big bad boy out, and that, that is just churning through it. I mean, you can see by the by the thick layer of dust on there that mm. and the grass but I'll hose the grass down afterwards and that's actually quite good for the grass but yeah so get the rest of them sanded down today and then after work tomorrow I'm going to pick up some paint on the way home and get the uh, old coping painted still haven't worked out what colour initially I wanted them black but I like to lean on the edge of the pond and uh, I've been to a pond quite recently where they had very dark uh, copings. Um, bugger me was it hot touching their pond. I mean just, just touching the liner today. I mean that is absolutely roasting. You couldn't put your fingers on that for long. Uh, but yeah so everything's still working good. Skimmer's still running. Obviously water's still pumping in and we've got the hose out of the water at the minute and we've got a few bubbles on the surface I think that's literally just because I've been sanding down here and the sawdust is going in the pond and everywhere else looking in here it's a bit dusty yeah still can't get rid of this error 88 on here um, it's got to be something to do with the sensors either that or it's a faulty unit it bloody better not be hmm. but I don't get it although there's an error on there the drum's still working as you can see another bucket full of water uh, empty that every evening to water all the plants at the minute uh, these guys are having a top up right now because yet again today they were up to 27 degrees I've just been fed as you saw there up snatching some food um, but yeah they're loving life in there at the minute they look a lot better since the treatment whether it's uh, completely got rid of the white spot or not I won't find out till I re-scrape but the green's almost gone from there now, um, so I'm just doing a, a water change. What are we today? We're Thursday today, and obviously the last treatment was Tuesday. So I'm just doing a bit of a water change, and then uh, do a re-scrape after the growing shows, on, depending on what time I get back on Sunday. If not, it'll be after work on Monday, because I'm going to be knackered after these. Obviously, I'm going down to A-Class Koi, and the reefers... Uh, grow and show on the Saturday and then uh, down to Adam Byer uh, near Watford on the Sunday so yeah hopefully I'll uh, see a lot of you there 
Um, but yeah, these guys, at least they're eating again now. I mean, the amount of food I chucked in, there ain't a lot left floating about. Almost about time to turn that hose off. That's almost topped back up to full. I've got a bit of a trickle out going at the minute. I've got the waste hose that, as you'll know from previous videos, does leak ever so slightly. Not very fast, though. I mean, it's just, just a drip. Well, big drip. So I've got that dripping away down there just to try and bring the temperature down, give them a bit more of a water change today so I'm going to get this filled right to the brim right to the very top and then uh, let that continue trickling out for a, an hour or two has been dechlorinated now so any um, aparex that was left in there will no longer be working now but I don't want it to overheat so bringing it back down to around 25 degrees again like I did yesterday and it feels a lot cooler than it did this afternoon but yeah, I'm going to see if I can get the rest of these three uh, sanded down today. And then hopefully that will leave me time to paint them all tomorrow. So uh, I'll stop the video here for the moment. And I will catch you all tomorrow to let you see what I'm up to. Catch you in a bizzle. Hey guys, so we're back. It's getting dark, it's getting late, and the neighbours are starting to pack their furniture away. Um, although my phone, you wouldn't tell it's getting dark, but uh, I assure you it is. But yeah, just thought I'd show you. i um, been working hard over the last couple of days, and da -da, it's not screwed down yet. Um, just finished painting the uh, last edge today. Got a nice red. Uh, edge to it it's all smooth as a baby's bum now which is absolutely fantastic it's a bit wet because I've just topped up the pond but yeah let me spin you around and have a proper look what do you think something different I didn't want black on the top so I've gone for a, a nice light grey you can see we've got blooming water on it I'm sure that'll work uh, dry and not leave a mark, hopefully. Right. But yeah, what do you think? Nice, uh, yes, I've got some paint on the liner, but all this is yet to be cut off. Uh, painted it all grey, put it in place, and then decided that I was going to go around the edge with uh, the old red yacht paint, post box red. A yeah, bit of a warped one there, I'm hoping I can get that flat with some screws. Fingers crossed. But yeah, all working nice. All right up to the brim, ready for tomorrow. Now, what's happening tomorrow, you might ask? Um, other than Jamie uh, sorting out his sunburn that he got today, painting the garden all day, we are going to the Reefers Growing Show. Now, this video, by the time you've seen this, You've probably already seen that I've been there, picked up my fish and come back because I'll probably get that video uh, uploaded before this one. But yeah, so uh, hmm. that blimmin' error 88 again. Yeah, so as you can see, up to 22 degrees today. Again, still haven't worked out why I'm getting the error 88. Something to do with it saying the pump's not running, but the pump is running. Uh, the reason why there's a lot of froth on the surface at the minute is because I've filled it up so high that the skimmer's uh, it's above the uh, level of the weir plate of the skimmer so none of the bubbles are getting taken through the skimmer. But I've done that because I've just dechlorinated it today. That's probably what's caused the bubbles. And by the time I get back tomorrow, enough water would have come out of there that that would have dropped because I don't have a dechlorinator yet so I don't want to top it up again uh, tomorrow on waste uh, dechlorinating liquid so I've overfilled it today that way by the time I get back tomorrow with the fish if it scrapes clean that will be low enough and it can get dropped straight in there so 
yeah that's where I'm up to that's where the copings are uh, just got to screw them down um, move them bricks out of the way so I can get that last one and that one in properly um, I've got, picked up when I picked up the paint today I picked up a lovely bit of pine uh, to go in there I was going to use one of these but it, it just didn't look right weren't wide enough so yeah I've got a lovely bit of pine that I'll paint the same colour and go in there um, someone did comment on one of my videos why am I always sniffling hay fever lots and lots of hay fever and uh, I don't have anything in at the minute to help so that is why I'm always sniffling when I'm out in the garden but yeah so that's the copings on so well other than screwed down so that's getting there um, what else is left trim the liner screw the copings down maybe paint the pond haven't decided yet um, not in a rush to do that though uh, and get the garden sorted all we're literally waiting on now is for those fish in the back vat to become healthy um, haven't we scraped them yet I was going to do that tomorrow when I scrape the uh, the new fish um, because I'll have my scope out and all my nets and everything ready to go so yeah as I say you've probably already seen the fish that I've got um, because I'll see if I can get some filming done there and get that uploaded and straight online uh, whereas this one will just join the queue because it's the pond build and uh, part whatever yeah. today just a little bit of an update of what I've been up to with the pond and um, with the fish and that's about it so uh, yeah without further ado let's have a, a quick butchers at the pond so copings are now on it's overfilled a bit at the minute I've just topped it right the way up because come tomorrow the drum's going to empty enough for the skimmer to work anyway just watered the uh, the garden with the bucket most of the bucket yeah that's uh, filling up on a regular basis to be honest it probably would fill about three or four of them uh, a day but I just use it to water the grass at the minute and all the plants still can't get rid of this error I give up I'm gonna to speak to a Wazi at the uh, Coventry show I might be able to uh, help work out what it is if anyone does know error 88 and how to rectify it as I say the manual says it means pump not working or something along those lines but pump is working as you can see I've currently got the uh, shower return off at the minute it's just the uh, under under water level return currently on at the minute just because uh, I was painting and screwing the uh, copings down so all I've done is literally just screwed them in on top and then dabbed a, a blob of paint on them just to camouflage the screw holes a little bit not perfect but and obviously the boards were ever so slightly warped and bowed so I've got them as straight as I can um, they're not too bad obviously that joint didn't exactly work out well but that one's bowed ever so slightly or curled that way and that one's ever so slightly curled that way so they are touching at the bottom but not touching at the top so meh it'll do that's probably the worst corner the rest aren't too bad although I had to trim that one a tiny bit but yeah so what I've got I've got a uh, grey paint just the standard sort of fence paint uh, by Copranol uh, just the silver grey whatever you want to call it and I've used my uh, red yacht paint to uh, to do a nice red trim I like it but each their own I guess yeah now all I've got to do is trim the liner I'll get that done uh, after this video for you guys just sorted out the lawn from all the burn marks from the dog just some, use some of my homegrown turf filled in all the holes and then mowed the lawn which is why the lawn mower's out literally just finished doing that but yeah my homemade turf while I'm not using my uh, just reseeded the areas that I've used today yeah I'm gonna do 
grow some grass in my wheelbarrow in basically sludge grows quite well and then uh, any grass that gets damaged by the dog or myself fill in the holes and yes it does look messy right now but within within a week there's grass seed under each bit of turf as well that'll all shoot up but, uh, yeah, I missed one day watering my uh, mind your own business and it dried to a crisp so I chucked it in that pond uh, to see if I could rescue it but no I think that has uh, gone bye byes so uh, when my new shower gets here I'm going to need a new mind your own business the rest of the plants are doing pretty good the uh, oak trees I don't think they're going to quite make it no, they're little, little tiny ones still looking very green that one's still got a fair bit of green but again that one's gone a bit bit dry and crispy didn't forget to water them though it was literally just that missed it that little pot was sitting just there next to the tomato plant and I watered the tomato plant and must have missed or forgot that but never mind never mind we've had shed loads of strawberries this year but they're still being attacked never mind so, yeah as you can see my watercress can't even see the bucket anymore between the watercress and that lily it's gone absolutely crazy but yeah, well, yeah the big fish down the back there they're doing great a um, bit of an update on them in fact let's go and have a, a quick butchers at them yeah obviously you all know i found and i'm treating for a white spot decided to give our parrots a go did re-scrape um, but unfortunately what the scrapes wasn't 100 percent clear so uh, my recommendation don't use our parrots let's see if we can get this up a tiny bit for white spot yeah parrots is not ideal for white spot even though it says on the tin it does it but normally yeah colombo products are pretty pretty good but no there's still still quite a, a bit in there so uh, when i was at adams he uh, said i'll oh, just just chuck salt in mate 0.6 week job done no more white spot so that's what i've done uh, i did that when i got back from adams on sunday what are we today now friday so obviously for you guys it's a, a fair few weeks after the ground show but uh yeah so on sunday i'm going to start reducing the uh, salt content in there get it down to bit by bit each day just do a small water change each day so they'll probably be in there for another half a week until it's down to about 0.2 then they can go in their new home about blooming time and all so yeah i'll get them in there i am umming and ahhing whether to put one or two of these in there as well because some of these are getting quite big now so let's have a butcher's in there. It's about time we gave him some treats today. But yeah, these guys are doing really, really well. All my new ones are all happy as Larry in there. I've got my, uh, obviously my Goshki from the uh, A Class and Reefer Growing Show. And can I see him? If I throw in a handful of their treats, not their food, they've had food. Time for some treats. I can see my shower that I got from Adam Bonnell and my uh, shag or Ochiba my Chagiba uh, right, oops. oh there's the Goshki right down the back right in the middle of the screen down the back there, there he is let's get more up This is the best part 
so quite deep in. Like in a big old vat full of hundreds of fish and just watching them destroy their food. Yeah, they have been fed quite a lot today, which is uh, why they're not much as quick as they normally do. I've uh, only had a half day at work today, so I'm chopping a bit in every now and then while I've been painting and sorting out the uh, the tokens. Rushkey's looking absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can get a close up of the old shower. He's down the back there at the bottom of the wood. And down to the back corner. And the shag is down there. I'm going in there. Really unusual. I can't wait to show you guys a bit better what he actually looks like. As I say, from the top down, 100% shaggy. You look at his belly, completely orangey brown. So he's like a shagiba. <laughs> but we'll see. He's only little, so he might change a bit as he grows, or go from one to the other. Yeah, really unusual, but his scale pattern, body shape, and everything else about him is just absolutely stunning. Yeah. We'll see. We will see. There he is. Look. Yeah. yeah, so just a, a quick update on this one. That's where I'm up to. Sitting on the windowsill of the pond. Chilling out with the fishies. Okay. Look at the proteins. I'm happy with them. They're as good as they can be for cheap walk wood. Yeah, I'll get these all, the uh, liner all trimmed off. And it should look ten times better. So yeah, as I say, it was just a quick one today. So thanks all for watching. Like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you know anything about the drum, let me know in the comments and we'll catch you all on the next one.